Uh, we couldn't understand in the industry why um, we were seeing an increase in IPV strikes. Uh, we needed to gather information um, and analyse data that, that we could capture to find out if there was any trends uh, and how we could move forward um, with, with making the public more aware of the current IPV situation. At the moment, we're looking at uh, you know technology. We've got IntelliCone, where if a cone's knocked on site, it sends out alarm to the workers that's within the site. Uh, we've obviously got the CCTV cameras that we're developing for all our IPVs. We're looking at putting a radar on all the IPVs so that uh, it warns uh, the operators on the IPV and around the IPV if a vehicle is potentially going to strike them. I've been in this industry, the construction industry, for, for very nearly 30 years now. Um, and thinking back, there were a lot of practices we kind of accepted, which these days we just wouldn't consider. The detection equipment on the back of the IPVs, that is really trying to find a way of tackling a problem. Now, we really appreciate, I really appreciate, that, that taking the initiative um, and accepting the things you can do, and really do commend it to others to do the same as well. Anything that can prevent an accident has to be has to be encouraged. We tried the hard signs, we tried the normal lights. This safety system, which gives a warning to our own operatives to, to be, be aware there's a potential for an accident, but to, to give the stimulus to the heavy goods driver to, to wake up or be alert, tremendous step forward. And it's one of a number of initiatives that Colas here in the UK are taking to, to make a better working environment. The initial concept came about in July 2011. Uh, we had a, a meeting with Chroma Security Services to discuss the, uh, the possibility of capturing data and live situations on IPV wagons. We fitted uh, one of these systems uh, and unfortunately the IPV was involved in a, a strike in December 2011. Mark was on the back, me and Stephen were passing gear up obviously looking back uh, for the oncoming traffic. We passed the last frame up, Mark was securing it on the back of the wagon. Me and Stephen were by the side and we noticed the wagon coming towards us. It became apparent that he wasn't going to move over, so uh, we shouted at Mark to jump off the back and uh, he jumped off just in time. And we managed to get out of the way just as, uh, just as the Arctic hit the back of the cushion. We downloaded all of the data and we analysed what had happened uh, and as we were going through the, the, the process of um, identifying how the incident occurred, uh, we came up with an idea of maybe we could do more with the system that we had, that it had more capabilities and that is when we, we came up with the concept of uh, detecting what vehicles were approaching IPVs in the same lane. CSS um, came in at the early stages uh, when we were discussing the, the CCTV system. Um, they installed that and then they, were, they brought in the analytics side. The technology that they can bring to the industry, it, it gave a, a different branch to look at. We moved off into a different area than we ever thought possible. The system uh, utilises uh, Bosch's analytics um, to detect vehicles approaching the IPV from behind. We set up the camera system on the IPV so that in a traffic situation when the guys are putting out the traffic cones for the road closure or the, the lane closure, we actually set up two different zones so that when the vehicles are approaching and they get a little bit too close to the, to the vehicle, it sets off an alarm. This will set off the lights on the back of the unit which are a different colour and frequency so this is more obvious and different to the standard orange flashing lights. And then if it gets even closer and it's still in the danger zone, it will set off a sounder for the guys to then alert them to get off the vehicle as, as quick as possible. I think there's an open door, particularly the highways agency, to use innovation. You know, in, in the past I think it's been very slow and difficult to change standards, but I think uh, there's an open door now for us to push 
push behind to say there's new technology out there, we need to be innovative in our thinking and actually come up with different ways of working that reduce the exposure to road workers. Our operatives and staff, they're our asset, they're the ones that make the company as it is today. And if we're not doing things safely, our clients, you know, it's very important to them, they don't employ a company that's not working safely and striving to improve all the time. I think everything that Colas can do uh, to make the workforce safer can only be a benefit and uh, I think they're, they're putting the right steps in place to, to go forward with that. We're out there repairing the road to make it safe for the motorist and what we want them to, um, through communication, working with our client like the Highways Agency, is to communicate to the road user that we are doing the job to make it safe for them so please think about our operators when they're on the network make it safe for them as well. We take our responsibilities and it's on our conscience that we make it a safe place to work while you are out there maintaining that network for us. The system is currently installed on uh, eight IPVs at the moment uh, and there's another two vehicles getting fitted next week. Um, the system will be installed on all of Colas owned IPVs by the end of 2030. The next stage is to uh, encourage the rest of the industry uh, to follow the best practice which we feel this is um, and we think it will increase safety to the workforce throughout the UK. The commitment has always been there, uh, what we are is being more focused especially now that we've got uh, innovation, uh, technology we've got on hand now so we're looking to strive and improve safety all the time.